Hallelujah. It's time for freedom, honey. It's time for freedom. For you and your family right now. Thank you, Jesus. I break every generational curse off this family now. I, I declare every spirit of infirmity, every spirit of depression, every spirit of any mental problem in this family, I declare must go now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I speak complete freedom now in Jesus' name. I speak healing in your body now. Healing all over in your heart, in your body, in your mind now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. And I speak this weight to be lifted off of you, this weight you've carried. I lift it off you now. And I declare healing and freedom to this whole family now in Jesus' name. I release this anointing now to you both. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, my name is Tamika. Um, and something that brought me here was grief. It was something that I had tried processing through somatic trauma healing. I'd processed it for years. And I thought that it was me. I thought that it was a part of me. So I kept processing it, hoping that it would, you know, eventually heal and dissolve like all the other wounds I had in my past. But this wasn't going. And then I had a healing from a friend who's in the new age and he was like, this is a spirit. And it went for three days and it went from my throat and I felt so happy. I felt so light, so clear, but then it came back after three days. And after trying all my usual sort of new age approaches, I really felt like I had exhausted all of my normal people and options. And I really felt like God was guiding me into this process of, you know, Christian deliverance ministry. I'd been watching Catherine Crick online for a couple of months prior to all of this happening. And I had been so, just so amazed by the healings that I had witnessed. People getting out, people getting up out of wheelchairs, autism healing, so many amazing healing, like healings happening. So I was so pulled, so, so pulled to come and see her. So when I saw that she was coming here to Sydney, I had no qualms, I booked my tickets, I, I came here, I brought my family. And then after the second, on the second day, so after the first day, the whole, the whole night, I, was, I just had all these tears and I was like, it was so much grief and every person I would see getting healed and delivered, more tears, that I didn't feel called to go up there and then, Sort of, I woke up in the morning of the second day and I felt really heavy and all of this grief. And that was kind of the pattern, you know, it was like heaviness, grief, and it just felt like this spiritual oppression that I felt was holding me back in so many different areas of my life, my business, wanting to exercise, just, just oppressing me. So I was so committed. I wanted to be on stage. I wanted the de full deliverance. I, I was praying for a full surrender. And Catherine Crick was like, you? And I was like, me? Me? I was like, yes. And so I went up on stage. And as soon as I was taking the steps to go up onto the stage, I, I mean, I was already crying, but I started bawling my eyes out. I could not stop it. It just something moved through me and, and I had all of this pain in my stomach and I doubled over. I mean, I had intended on being like, I want to renounce Hashimoto's, I want to renounce ancestral, blah, 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 blah. I had all this stuff I wanted to renounce, but I couldn't say a word. Like I was so overcome with just this deep, like in my gut grief and anguish, this pain. I don't know where it comes from, probably ancestral, but doesn't matter. Um, and it just came out of me. And um, 
you know, I dropped to the ground, I was on my knees and my, my whole body was just shaking. It was really profound because like I had been to three different deliverance ministers like prior to this and no way did I feel the power of God moving through these people like, like Catherine is such a vessel for, just stepping onto that stage, her declaring, you know, the, her anointing, the power of God was so mighty, so strong, so undeniable. Like if you were an unbeliever, if you stepped into this space, you would become a believer because you feel God in this space. Like you feel God. It is just, it's truly supernatural. Like it's truly, there's no words to be honest. Like it's just, your heart opens to God. And that's what happened to me in a way that I, I didn't expect, you know? I thought me and God were pretty tight, but this is like a whole nother level. So she is so incredible. She has been chosen by God to be this incredible vessel. And she is so pure, so humble, so embodying the truth, the light, you know, and just God's power flows through her. So I cannot recommend following her, watching her, coming live, but even online, you'll feel the anointing, the power. So today has changed my life in the best possible way. And I feel so, so blessed, so blessed.